As global temperatures rise, scientists are working on ways to slow down climate change. New research suggests that pumping the equivalent of antacid tablets into the air could be the answer. Unlike previous suggestions, experts believe that releasing an aerosol of calcium carbonate into the atmosphere would cool the air without damaging the ozone layer. Last year's Paris Climate Agreement set the goal of keeping global temperatures no higher than 1.5 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial levels. Emission reductions will be key to achieving these, but the researchers believe that extra efforts can further reduce the risks. One idea suggested in the past was to geoengineer the Earth to mimic the cooling effect seen in the air following a large volcanic eruption, which shoots up large amounts of sulfur dioxide. This would be achieved by pumping light-reflecting sulfate aerosols into the stratosphere. However, this is risky, as they would produce sulfuric acid, which damages ozone. A study from researchers at the Harvard John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences suggests a similar approach, but without the risk associated with sulfur dioxide. In solar geoengineering research, introducing sulfuric acid into the atmosphere has been the only idea that had any serious traction until now, said David Keith, professor of applied physics at SEAS and professor of public policy at the Harvard Kennedy School and first author of the paper. This research is a turning point and an important step in analyzing and reducing certain risks of solar geoengineering. Previous research had focused on ways of limiting the ozone damage by using non-reactive aerosols. However, the new research looked at highly reactive aerosols. Instead of trying to minimize the reactivity of the aerosol, we wanted a material that is highly reactive but in a way that would avoid ozone destruction, said co-author Frank Cooch. After examining stratospheric chemistry and ruling out most of the periodic table, the researchers landed on calcite, a constituent of limestone. They found that this could neutralize emission-based acids in the atmosphere while also reflecting light and cooling the planet. Essentially, we ended up with an antacid for the stratosphere, said Cooch. Calcite is one of the most common compounds in the Earth's crust, and only a small amount would be needed for the solar geoengineering. The researchers are currently testing calcite in the lab conditions designed to mimic the atmosphere. While it may help to alleviate the problem, the researchers note that this method of solar engineering is not a solution to climate change. Geoengineering is like taking painkillers, said Cooch. When things are really bad, painkillers can help but they don't address the cause of a disease and they may cause more harm than good. We really don't know the effects of geoengineering but that is why we're doing this research.